Hey everyone, my name is Matt and I'm a data analyst. Today, I wanna to walk you through a three to six month roadmap that you can take to break into data. I'll explain each skill that you should know along with the specific functions you should know as well as the platforms I recommend learning them on. Then we'll talk through how to approach projects, networking on LinkedIn, advice for upskilling, as well as how to know when you're job ready. If you follow these steps with determination and consistency, going from zero to a job in data within three to six months, is totally possible. Before we go through each skill, I just wanna mention that I'll have links in the description for each of the specific courses that I recommend you taking, as well as a free data skills tracker that I built in Notion to help you stay organized. All right, so the first skill you should know is Excel. Excel sets a great foundation for learning analytics and is used by most companies. The skills I'd learn, basic navigation, things like sorting, filtering, column management, aggregation functions like sum, average, max, min, formulas, X look up being the most important, data cleaning, functions like trim, left, right, charting, line charts, bar charts, and column charts are an absolute must. Pivot tables, trust me, you'll use these a lot. If statements, functions like count if, sum if, conditional formatting. This helps your spreadsheets look great, but also very dynamic. Power query, make sure you get comfortable with some of its basic data cleaning capabilities and a basic understanding of macros. You don't need to go too in depth with these, but it is good to have an understanding of how they work. Once you have these down, you're in a good spot. The next skill to take on is SQL. SQL is a logic language used for data manipulation and data analysis. It's probably the single best data skill to have. It's well worth the time investment. Here's what to know when you're just starting out. Select, from, where, having, order by, group by, aggregations like average, sum, etc. Joins, inner joins being the most common, left joins, right joins, full outer joins. Working with dates, they can be a little tricky. Case statements like null if, window functions like lag, row number, rank, dense rank, CTEs, and subqueries, but definitely focus on CTEs. That may sound like a lot, but these are the functions that will give you the most mileage when you're just starting out your data career. But also know that you'll probably figure these out a lot quicker than you might expect. SQL is a lot more approachable than most people think. This was definitely my experience. I thought I was too dumb for SQL, but when I really jumped in, I saw that it wasn't too bad. After learning all of those, continue to upskill and stay sharp using tools like Data Lemur and Dataferd. Links for those below in the description. Okay, so the final skill I suggest learning is a BI tool. Tableau and Power BI are the two most popular and honestly, I love both, but I think Tableau is the better one to start with. The reason I believe that is I think Tableau is more approachable for beginners. They have their Tableau public platform, which makes it really easy for people to host their projects online and share them. Power BI just doesn't have anything similar to my knowledge. It's a little bit more tricky to share projects. So I just think that Tableau is a little bit easier to work with. And honestly, I have professional experience using both. And once you learn one, the other isn't too hard to pick up. Here's what to know in Tableau. Understand the difference between a measure, calculated fields, level of detail expressions or LOD expressions, dual axis charting, dashboard functions like actions, objects, especially containers. Those will help keep your dashboards real clean. Get to know the analytics pane, reference lines, average lines, etc. Filtering, groups, hierarchies, parameters, and then relationships versus joins for your data prepping. The great thing about Tableau is it's just a lot of fun to build a lot of dashboards. This helps you get your reps in. Just continue to practice and get you to these skills down. So those are the three primary skills that you should start with. My favorite platforms for learning any of these are Udemy, Maven Analytics, and DataCamp. All are really great platforms. And again, I'll have some links in the description for specific course recommendations. Next, let's talk through projects and how to build a portfolio. I recommend creating at least one project for each skill you learn after every course. And I would do this before moving on to the next skill. So for example, once you finish an Excel course, create an Excel project, and then move on to SQL. The courses will teach you the skills, but the project gives you the practice to really solidify that learning, plus it allows you to build out a great portfolio. Speaking of portfolios, having a portfolio is an absolute must in today's job market. I'm gonna link another video in the description that I made that walks you through how to create a landing page style portfolio using my own as an example. Definitely check that out. Overall, aim to have three to five projects in your portfolio and make sure they're projects that 
that you can be proud of. Once you have three to five projects in your portfolio and you feel comfortable with the skills we talked about, you're ready to start applying for jobs. However, even before you start applying, I recommend documenting your journey on LinkedIn by posting projects and sharing what you're learning. That may sound terrifying, and it was pretty terrifying for me in the beginning too, but the data community is super supportive. It's also a great way to get free feedback on your projects and build quality connections. Developing those connections can help lead to job opportunities, but posting about your projects can help attract opportunities to you. I've known many people, including myself, who've posted about a project and had a recruiter reach out to them about a job. Not every job that you get reached out to about is gonna be a home run, but the fact that you're even getting recruiters reaching out to you is a great sign. And sometimes those really are great opportunities. This allows you to attract opportunities while also pursuing opportunities through a traditional application method. I do recommend taking a proactive approach of reaching out to recruiters. But I also recommend doing a check-in after every 25 to 50 applications you submit. When you're not getting traction, review your resume, review your LinkedIn, review your portfolio, and review your overall approach. During all of this, you should continue to keep your skills sharp by creating projects and practicing SQL questions in your spare time. This outline I gave is pretty much what I did and I've seen it work for a lot of other people as well. I hope this was helpful. If it was, feel free to like and subscribe. Links for everything I mentioned in the description below as well as my free data skills tracker and I'll see you next time.